Have you ever wondered how China is able to build entire cities and massive infrastructure projects in record time? From high-speed railways to skyscrapers, China's construction industry is a marvel to behold. But what's the secret behind China's lightning-fast construction? In this video, we'll uncover the techniques and technologies that enable China to build so fast and explore the pros and cons of this rapid building boom. Stay tuned to learn the secrets behind China's construction revolution. The SLJ 900, how China is revolutionizing railway construction is nothing short of impressive. Thanks to cutting edge technology like the SLJ 900 or the Iron Monster as it's popularly known. This game-changing engineering masterpiece designed by Zizong Railway Design Institute and manufactured by Beijing's Wow Joint Machinery Company is transforming the way rail networks are built. Unlike traditional methods that rely on heavy-duty cranes to lift narrow wedges into place, the Iron Monster glides on 64 wheels along already completed bridge sections, extending new sections out over the void to be laid onto the next pier. Once the span is secured, the beast moves back to collect the next section from a temporary factory that moves alongside the project. Weighing in at a massive 580 tons and stretching 91 meters long, the Iron Monster is the ultimate workhorse. Not only does it look awe-inspiring, but it's also more cost-effective and faster than traditional techniques. This innovative approach to railway construction is perfect for China's rugged landscape, where much of the rail network needs rising up on bridges or viaducts. The Kulan the Kulan is a box girder erector developed by the China Railway Construction Corporation. Its main purpose is to lay down support beams for bridges spanning mountains or waterways. Its groundbreaking technology can coordinate intelligently during construction and reduce girder erection cost by about 20% while speeding up the process by 25%. In June 2020, the Kunlun erected the first 1,000-ton box girder of the Fusan Shaman High-Speed Railway Bridge, which is almost 15 kilometers long and was expected to be completed by 2022. The efficiency of the Kunlun is remarkable compared to the Golden Gate Bridge, which took over four years to build and is roughly one-fifth the length of the Fusan Bridge. The Kunlun's impact is significant, as it solves bridge erection and power supply problems in challenging terrains while reducing the cost. It is a testament to China's technological prowess and will undoubtedly inspire other countries to innovate and create their version of the box girder erector. The Kunlun's revolutionary technology is poised to revolutionize the way bridges are erected worldwide. Its success demonstrates the power of human ingenuity and innovation in the field of engineering. The world eagerly awaits further advancements in this sector of development. Why Kunlun is Unique the Kunlun is not just an ordinary machine, but a game-changer in the world of bridge construction. Unlike traditional girder-laying machines, Kunlun's capabilities extend to tunnels where it can operate both at the entrance and exit. This is a significant breakthrough for China, especially in the western region where there are numerous deep valleys and tunnels. Moreover, the use of high-strength steel plates that are aviation and submarine-grade level materials, along with the laser matrix system, makes Kunlun an intelligent and highly efficient machine. The ability to operate inside tunnels puts Kunlun in a class of its own, giving China a competitive advantage in low-cost bridge construction. The laser matrix system enables the machine to scan the surrounding environment, allowing for automated tunnel navigation, making it an excellent choice for projects involving bridge and tunnel conversions. Kunlun's success in laying beams in tunnels marks a significant milestone for China's tunneling industry, a field where it is fast catching up with Elon Musk's boring tunnels. Tunneling China's tunneling machines are anything but boring. With the help of German freelance engineering consultants, they can bore up to 10 meters a day at a unit cost of only $10 million per kilometer. Compared to the U.S., where a kilometer of tunnel typically costs $50 million, China has revolutionized the tunneling industry. While Elon Musk's boring tunnels have caught the world's attention, China is quietly making strides in the field and taking the lead in low-cost, high-speed transportation. The CRCHI The CRCHI tunnel boring machine is a domestic wonder. 
responsible for digging one of the twin tubes under the Chiatang River in Hangzhou Bay near Shanghai. The machine boasts a 15-meter diameter, making it one of the widest tunneling machines worldwide. With an installed power of 9,755 kilowatts, a torque of 42,784 on the Newton meter, and an impressive excavation speed of 50 millimeters per minute, it can dig and lay down tunnel walls with ease. The CRCHI is a testament to China's engineering prowess and a game-changer in tunnel construction technology. China's Kunlun and the SLJ900 tunneling machines have revolutionized the way rail and road bridges are constructed. These mega machines can traverse difficult terrains and lay down track, enabling China to fast track the One Belt, One Road initiative. In addition, the machine's integration has given China a decisive edge in high speed rail and road networks, as they can lay down tracks for both. An excellent example of their effectiveness is the 480 km Mombasa to Nairobi railway track built in just 18 months, which would have taken much longer with conventional methods. A track laying machine transports prefabricated tracks along the railway line, setting down each track and then rolling on a new track over it. With each section of the track installed in just four minutes, the track laying machine's efficiency is nothing short of remarkable. The successful implementation of these machines has given China a competitive advantage in the global infrastructure market. The CYP500 China's rapid construction boom continues to amaze the world, with new developments popping up seemingly overnight. But if you thought China's construction pace couldn't get any faster, think again. The CYP500, a rapid track-laying machine, can lay down an astonishing 2 kilometers of track in a single day. In March 2020, the CYP500 was used to lay down the first section of the China-Laos railway track, the longest railway track outside of China in Asia, which is set to open later this year. It's remarkable to compare China's progress in just four years, from laying down 700 meters of track per day in Kenya to 2 kilometers per day on the Laos project. China's rapid construction shows no sign of slowing down. The Bonot Moving away from the industrial level construction, let's now take a look at how fast China can build its city centers. Each year, China builds almost half of the world's skyscrapers. But how can China build so many skyscrapers? Well, if you have attentively watched this video so far, then you'll already know the answer. Yes, China has a humongous skyscraper building machine that weighs a stupendous 2,000 tons. This monstrosity can build an entire floor in four days and can remain steady and safe for construction even at a height of 500 meters. According to Chinese engineers, the wall climbing monster can increase building speeds by over 20%. It was developed over a period of almost three years by designers from the Institute of Engineering Technology in China. Li Sai, one of the mechanical engineers heavily involved in the project, has named the machine a bowknot. The Bonot is over 40 meters high and weighs almost 2,000 tons. The development team for the Bonot have obtained eight patents and published five papers on the technologies that have been used to construct it. It's no secret that these technologies have allowed China to build at a rapid rate. A couple years ago, we still remember how China in just six days managed to build a COVID hospital. They even live streamed the construction online. This shows the sheer efficiency and capability of China's construction industry. Just a decade ago, China had to purchase tunneling machines from Europe as they dominated the market. Today, however, Chinese engineering companies are exporting tunneling machines to Europe for high-speed railway projects. They have reverse-engineered these machines and are making them more efficiently and cost-effectively than their competitors in Japan and Europe. In a day, Chinese tunneling machines can dig up to 10 kilometers of tunnel at a cost of $10 million per tunnel. This is a far cry from the USA, where each kilometer of tunneling costs around $50 million. With these impressive capabilities, China has cemented its position as a global leader in tunneling and railway construction. Building a high-speed railway in China is a vastly different process than in a typical Western country. 
In the West, feasibility studies are commissioned to determine the profitability of the project. In China, the government funds the railway projects and the construction begins without detailed feasibility studies. This approach allows China to build high-speed railways quickly and efficiently, connecting cities and regions in record time. China's ability to build infrastructure at breakneck speed isn't just due to advanced construction technology, but also its unique political and regulatory framework. The Chinese government's ability to make quick decisions and mobilize resources has enabled the country to rapidly develop its transportation infrastructure. Negative Factors China's high-speed railway network is largely funded by the government, which allows for faster construction compared to Western countries where profitability is often a prerequisite. However, this approach also means that many of the network's less profitable routes are sustained by government subsidies. Harsh climate conditions on some routes in China, such as the line from Gihan to Guangzhou, also result in high maintenance costs that eat into profits. In Western countries, delays in construction often occur due to concerns about environmental impacts on habitats and land acquisition can be prohibitively expensive, leading to years or even decades of delays. While these issues are still present in China, they are considered less of a problem, allowing for faster construction. Despite the challenges, China's impressive track record of building high-speed railways and skyscrapers is a testament to the country's technological advancements and efficient construction practices. The private sector. It's worth noting that not all of China's construction projects are supported by the government. Many of the country's high-rise buildings are a result of private enterprise, taking advantage of the booming economy and rapidly urbanizing population. This has led to some innovative construction methods and practices in the private sector. China's government. The Chinese government's approach to acquiring land is quite different from that of Western countries. If it wants the land, it simply takes over the lease with compensation provided but little or no right of appeal. In contrast, Western leaders are often reluctant to approve potentially unpopular infrastructure projects like railway lines, especially if their benefits are not immediately apparent to the electorate. This is because politicians defending a slim majority in the upcoming election will try to avoid making difficult decisions that could upset voters, causing delays and wasting time. China's senior leaders, on the other hand, do not need to answer to their electorates in quite the same way, which allows for a long-termist approach to infrastructure development. While this arrangement is not without criticism, it undeniably benefits the Chinese construction industry. The critics argue China's rapid construction and infrastructure development have been both impressive and controversial. While some argue that the country is building too fast, citing ghost cities as evidence, others believe that China's long-termist philosophy is undeniably helpful to its construction industry. Rather than allowing cities to evolve haphazardly as in the West, China is betting on its population's continued growth and urbanization, investing in the infrastructure in an orderly fashion. However, critics have pointed out the less than optimal construction safety record and poor worker rights in China, accelerating the curing and drying process of poured concrete, which forms the basis of almost all modern construction, can lead to cracks and bigger problems down the line. As China continues to develop, it will be important for the country to prioritize safety and worker rights while maintaining its rapid pace of construction. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts on China's fast building boom? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As always, a big thank you to you for watching. Make sure to stay safe and stay tuned for more exciting Tech Brilliance TV.